as most of the time. So hi, Aggie, thank you for being with me. And uh, so let's just start the practice as always with a little short pranayama that oxygenates the body so we don't get dizzy when we get up. So inhale, top of the lungs, hold it for two seconds, and exhale. Simple, effective. Inhale, hold, and exhale. It's actually called Kumbhaka, a very simple version of it. Again, inhale, hold, and exhale. All right. Now inhale and arms up. And as we exhale, turn to the right, gentle twist. That activates the body. Inhale back, and exhale left. And inhale back. And exhale right palm to the floor. Look over the left arm. A little stretch. And inhale back. Exhale left. Look over the right arm. And inhale back. And we're going to go right again just a little deeper. And you adjust the depth. I usually go on my elbow and usually complain about it. Hmm. Yes, it's always tight a little bit in the morning. And inhale back, exhale left a little deeper. And inhale back, and let's leave the arms out, circles to the front. <clears throat> and back. And bend the elbows, close the back bones behind, pull the palms to the front, and open, close the back bones, pull them to the front, and open, close the back bones, and pull them to the front, and open the palms toward the floor, parallel with the floor, and up, and down, up, and down, and up. These little moves go, go good for the rotator cuff issues. Shoulder circles to the front. Pull back. Now both to the front and both backward. All right, once more here. Feels good. Interlace the fingers be behind. Sit up straight. Little shoulder stretch. Don't do. Don't do it if it hurts. Actually, don't do anything if it hurts. And. Interlace the fingers above, palms inside out. <clears throat> Sit up straight. Very gentle. Lean to the right, don't overdo it. And back. And left. And back. All right, undo the fingers and let's warm up the neck. Look down at the belly button. And roll the head around. And that's when I always disclose, please listen to your body. Come around here. If anything doesn't fit, I just modify it or skip it. Be very careful. Opposite direction with the head. And one more round. Here too. All right, let's go up on our fours. And we'll warm up the back. It's always cats and cows with me because it's just easy and effective. Arms are shoulder wide, legs are hip wide. Inhale into cat. And exhale, cow. Again, don't overdo it, just gently. Inhale, cat. And exhale, cow. Couple of more sets. Inhale, cat. And while in the cat, let's just wiggle the tail a little bit. And let's loosen up the lower back. And down to cow. Once more, cat. Wiggle the tail. And cow. Let's curl the toes. And push up to down facing dog.
Now it's a big stretch early in the class and cold muscles. So just take the time as I do to gradually ease into the position. Alright, I think we are getting there. So let's just bend the right knee and feel the extra stretch on the left side as I always say, but just the body if you don't. <clears throat> extra stretch to warm up and straighten the right knee and bend the left knee and now feel the stretch on the right side all right I think we are getting there so we straighten the left leg both legs are straight walk or hop toward the arms and forward fold again it's a little too much on, on uh, cold muscles, so just take your time, gradually ease into it. A few more seconds here, and we are ready to go. All right, I think we are there. So pull the tummy in, really important, pull the tummy in, inhale and arms up, palms together, a little back bend, and palms to the heart. <clears throat> All right, let's have one half salute and one full sun salutation to warm up. Inhale and arms up, palms together, little back bend, exhale forward, again strong core all the way through here. Inhale, straighten the back. Exhale, fold. And pull the tummy in. Inhale and arms up. Palms together. Little <clears throat> back bend. And palms to the heart. Alright, full sun salutation. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Again, strong core when we do this. Inhale, straighten the back. Extend the back. Exhale, forward. Inhale, look up, step back with the right leg. <coughs> and now <the coughs> you'll get used to the stretch here. And left leg for plank. Strong plank, and we can put the knees down for chaturanga or just follow me. Slowly lower the upper body. Mini coup. Up dog. Curl the toes. And down dog. Step to the front with the right leg. And bring the left leg along and fold. And pull the tummy in. Inhale and arms up. Palms together. Little bit bent. And palms to the heart. <coughs> High lunge. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold again. Strong core when we do this. Pull the tummy in. Inhale, straighten the back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, look up, step back with the right leg. Stay high on the right toes. Right palm is on the floor, aligned with your left foot. Now lift up the left one. Try to look at it. And my stomach is growling. And left arm comes down. Find the balance for high lunge. <coughs> and high lunge. <coughs> Straighten the front knee five times. Elbows to the side. Three here. Four. And five. And palms together, twist over the left knee. Exhale, 
and back in high lunge. And palms are on the floor. Right knee is on the floor, point the foot for low lunge. And palms are on the floor. Curl the right toes and move the left leg back. <coughs> Down facing dog. <coughs> and we can wait here or have a quick chaturanga with me. So the more upper body. And it already shows on my arms since I'm doing more uh, chaturanga. So there's a little definition in my arms. So down dog. And lift up the right leg. Bring it to the front. Stay high on the left toes. Left palm is on the floor. Now align with your right foot. And lift up the right arm. Look, try to look at it. And right arm comes down. Find a balance for high lunge. And high lunge. Straighten the front knee. Elbows to the side five times. And five. Arms together, twist over the right knee this time. And back in high lunge. And palms are on the floor. Left knee is on the floor, point the foot and low lunge. And palms are on the floor. Curl the left toes and move the right leg back. Down facing dog. <coughs> and again we can wait here. Or have a quick chaturanga only if it feels good. No need to push it too hard. <clears throat> but if it feels good, then why not? And up, down facing dog. And lift up the right leg. Bend the knee. Straighten and bring it to the front. Our left heel is down for warrior two. And we start with warrior two today. Knees above ankle to protect the knee. Outside edge is parallel with the floor. And I have a little nicer, wider step today. At least I try. Okay, <clears throat> warrior two. Right palm up and reverse. And back to the center. Right elbow over right knee. And we can stay here or lift up the right arm. And right arm is back. And we stand up and reverse it again. And back to the center. Right up next to the right knee this time. That would be Bikram triangle. And we stand up. Straighten the front knee. Uh, for your triangle. <clears throat> and left heel goes to the left. Reach over the right leg. Look over the left arm. And left arm comes down and move the right leg back. Down facing dog. And again, 
wait here or come with me for a chaturanga in the front. There. And lift up the left one, bend the knee. <coughs> And straighten and bring it to the front and right here is done for warrior two and we repeat the sequence on the left side again have a <coughs> balance step outside edge is parallel with the mat knees above ankle to protect the knee and warrior two left palm up and reverse And back to the center, left elbow, left knee, and we can stay here or lift up the left one too. Now left is back, and we stand up, reverse it again, and back to the center. <laughs> left elbow, left knee, look over the right arm. And back to the center. Straighten the front knee, right hip goes to the right. Reach over the left leg, look over the right arm. Triangle. And right arm comes down. And move the left leg back. Down facing dog. <clears throat> and again, we can wait here. We'll have a quick chaturanga. I'm getting hot, so I'm really warmed up by now. facing dog. It's a stretching and resting position at the same time. Anytime you have issues with your back, this is really good to relax it. And lift up the right leg. Bring it to the front. The left heel is down for a warrior two. <coughs> so I added the full bind as a master pose for my regular class because I think it's good for us so I'll add it here too for so we start with the big step warrior two and if you need a block put the block inside of the right foot and then move the right palm either on a block or next to the right foot on the floor now look over the left arm and that could be enough but if we can move the left arm behind and the right one under for the full bind, then why not? And now the right palm is back on the floor or the block. Lift up the left one and we stand up. Straighten the front knee. And now we'll do, we'll do the reverse triangle, and for that, if you need a block, put it outside of the right foot. And now, the ref, left arm is coming to the front, and it finds the block or floor outside of your right foot. Look over the right arm. I know it's awkward, but it's good. And right arm comes down, and move the right leg back. Down facing dog. Hmm. And lift up the left one. Bring it to the front. Right heel is down for warrior two. And we'll do the two little asanas on the left side. Arms up. I have to 
fix my hair again, sorry about that. Okay, should be better a little bit. And arms up. So now if you need the block, put it inside of the left foot and move the left palm inside of your left foot, either on a block or on the floor. Look over the right. And right palm goes back. Left one finds it. Now here, make sure that the shoulder is not sagging like this. Lift it up. And left palm is back on the floor. Right one lifts. And we stand up. Straighten the front knee. Move the block to the outside. And right palm comes to the front. Finds outside of the left foot. The floor or the block. Look over the left arm. It's a good neck stretch. Neck strengthening. And left arm comes down. Move the arms inside of the left foot. And move the left, left foot back. Down facing dog. And let's have <clears throat> one more chaturanga. Most likely that's going to be the last one today. And down facing dog. And now let's just move the knees down to the floor, point the feet. <clears throat> And strong core, pull the tummy in and lift up the right leg and left arm. And let's have five crunches here slowly. Strong core here, don't forget. Two, three, four. Reach back for extra stretch. And release the leg. One goes down. And right leg goes down. Let's have one cat here. Good for the lower back. <clears throat> Lift up the left one. Again, strong core. Pull the tummy in. And right arm. Five crunches here. Slowly, two, three, four, and five, and reach back for the extra stretch here. And release the leg, one goes down. And left leg goes down. One more cat here. And now let's curl the toes. And push up. Down facing dog. And walk or hop. Toward the arms. Forward fold. Should be easy. Easier by now. And it is a little bit and that's when I do the deeper stretch so we have options I usually step on my fingers under the heels you can put them under the toes depending on the body type inhale and as we exhale pull the head closer to the shins and we stay here for 20 seconds I think I'll do a shoulder stand at the end of the class and this is really a good preparation for it. So now, <clears throat> as we inhale, interlace the fingers behind. Now 
only the shoulders don't hurt <coughs> relax it for the shoulder stand actually not it but them but that's okay and undo the fingers pull the tummy in inhale and arms up ah, palms together a little back bend and palms to the heart <clears throat> all right let's have one chair you know let's do not one chair let's do Bikram chair today so um, for that we're gonna have three separate exercises we lift up the arms and we leave the arms all the way out all the way through it's a good upper body a little bit or arms strength so now the first one is just a regular chair so we go down to chair <clears throat> strong core here pull the tummy in and the weight goes on the heels so we can move the toes All right, then we stand up. Second one, we go up on the toes and we go down to chair as if we wear high heels. And stand up. And the third one, we put the knees together, go up on the toes and slowly go down toward the floor when the thighs are parallel with the floor. And now, pull the tummy in and slowly stand up and relax the arms, relax the legs, shake the legs out and whew, turn and we'll have a couple of crescents, gap between the feet, inhale and arms up and I like to warm up so grab the left wrist and pull the body to the right, already strong core here. And back, switch. And back, now palms together. Stretch up straight, big inhale. Really strong core, pull the tummy in, strong tush, and turn to the right for 10 seconds. back to the center, stretch up straight, big inhale, and left, and back to the center, and arms down, big step between the feet, and you know I never do, I mean hardly ever do goddess here, but let's do today. So the feet are V-shaped, not pigeon. We start with V-shaped feet. Arms up for star. And down to goddess. Out to star. And again begin here. And second goddess. And we hold it for 10 seconds. to star. Move the feet for pigeon. Parallel. And fold halfway through. Leave the arms out. Another 10 seconds. And reach down. Grab the outside edge of the feet. And grab the arms I'm going to grab the feet and the goal is to put the forehead on the floor and no need to worry about it twenty seconds here The left palm is on the floor. You can use a block if you need to. It's much easier to open the chest. So 
inhale and arms up and try to look at it it's a good neck stretch neck strengthening and we can stay here or move the right grab the left thigh pull the head to the right left one goes back on the floor or block, right one lifts, right one is down, hold again, <clears throat> I'm not sure if you notice but in, in this I always change the length of the step so it's a gradually a deeper stretch and if it's too much just you go back a little bit, just do it very carefully always. A few more seconds here. And now as we inhale, the right palm is on the floor and lift up the left one. And again we can stay here or move the left, grab the right thigh and pull the head to the left. The right palm is back on the floor or block. Left one left. Left one is down. Pulled once more. And now as we inhale, push up and walk out with the arms for a wide legged down facing dog. Just a really good stretch for the shoulders, shoulder blades. the arms closer to the body and bend the right knee be careful and walk over to the right and straighten the right knee and walk over to the left bend the left one straighten the left leg and walk the feet closer to each other for prayer squat and a prayer squat a few more seconds here too and now palms on the floor and I attempt a little crow here and not, not perfect. All right, that was my ill attempt of crow. And knees together. Palms are next to the, I mean, uh, for toe balance. <clears throat> and let's just do a toe stretch. Not sure if I did it lately, but it's always good. And, they can get stuck if you don't stretch them out. And now palms are back on the floor. Lift up the knees and palms next to the hips. And stand up, few steps on the toes. And down on the floor. Alright, today just an easy balancing, I don't feel like. Let's just do one tree today and that's it. So weight goes on the left foot. And the right one can just come up here. It's already balancing. Up here, or half lotus. Whatever works. Don't worry about the legs. It's about balancing. Well, focus at one point.
and open the branches and change shake the leg out and now weight goes on the right left one should go the same place as first time it's hard to find a <clears throat> spot here that doesn't move Again, focus at one point. And open the branches. And change. All right, that's it for balancing. Inhale and arms up. fold, strong core, anytime we fold over, pull the tummy in, straighten, I mean, uh, go to the front for plank, strong plank, and lower the body to the floor, point the feet, <clears throat> put the forehead on the floor, palms are next to the chest, and lift up the arms, and lift up the head, Mini Cobra, strong core, don't forget. And three, two, one. Whew. Left ear is on the mat. It's next stretch and a little rest. Turn the head, palms are next to the chest, cobra this time, toes together, legs are straight, they stay on the floor. Inhale and push up, elbows are close to the chest, shoulders away from the ears. Do not lock the elbows. And three, two, one. Right here is on the mat. And turn the head. Let's just do one more. Which one? Oh, just interlace the fingers behind. And we lift up everything. So inhale and lift. And three, two, one. Palms are next to the chest. And push up, toes together, knees wide. Extended child. To relax the back. And a little rest. Counter stretch. Yoga is about balance. And pull the palms closer to the knees and push up. And let's start today with the camel. I don't think we did a camel here. Or I just forgot, but still camel is always good. Palms behind the hips and push the hips to the front. I don't catch the Heels first time, you can go ahead. And three, two, one. Knees, toes together, knees wide, a child. To counter stretch here, before we do the second one. And sit up. And let's do the second camel. If you want to cheat and curl the toes, it's easier to grab them. Palms behind. Inhale. And push the hips to the front. And second time, I grab. And three, two, one. Knees wide. Toes together, 
another child to counter stretch and rest. Camel is a, camel is a really good uh, maintenance for lower backs, supposedly. And sit up. And let's do the power core now. So we'll go on the elbows, curl the toes, and push up. It's like down facing, but a dog on elbows and toes, and a couple of dolphins coming to the front and back. And second, and back. And third time, we'll stay parallel with the floor for a minute now. We can do a minute. So it's going to be 42 25. Or less, as I say, if you feel uncomfortable, it hurts, <clears throat> or just tired, then just put the knees down and wait. It's already more than half a minute left. All past. Really strong core, don't forget to pull the tummy in 25 seconds left. <clears throat> 15. 10. 3, 2, 1, Ooh. knees on the floor, toes together, knees wide, another extended child to relax, contour stretch, and rest. When I pull the palms closer to the knees and push up, and we'll bring the feet to the front. Take the muscles away from the sitting bones and sit up straight. And as we inhale, um, lift up the arms. Grab on the big toes. If you need a strap, then improvise. Put something here and then just grab it like that. And slowly pull the head closer to them. That prepares us for the shoulder stand and the plow. And mainly for the plow. And sit up and bend the knees, arms out, and slowly. Well, you know what? Let's just lift up the leg for a boat first. So, boat. Really strong core here. Pull the tummy in, and if we can straighten the legs. And bend the knees, hug them to the chest. And legs out, and slowly, one vertebrae at a time, lie back down. And let's do the shoulder stand now. So, for that I keep telling you, if you are with me, do not turn your head left and right when you are in shoulder stand or in plow. It's not good for the neck, so be very careful. Just stare straight toward your feet. So, as we inhale, well, actually I like to grab the toes first and then kind of pull it toward the head. The hip starts to come up, that's fine. And put, put the palms on the floor, inhale, and lift up the hip a little bit and move the toes behind the head. And do not turn the head, make sure. And here we can stay here or bend the elbows to aim the hips when you lift up the legs. <coughs> and shoulder stand. Or 
always check with your doctor if you can do this or not. But if it was in your practice for a long time, then I'm pretty sure that we are good. So palms back and move the hips back toward the floor. And before you put the hips down, put the palms facing down under the hips. And then bend the legs, straighten the right leg and the left leg. And we'll do a fish to counter stretch the shoulder stand to relax the, the head. The neck decompresses the neck from the previous exercise because yoga is about balance. So lift up the head, move the elbows out from the from the body and take the palms away. Grab the knees to the chest, rock side to side. And let's do a little more core today. Core is always important. It holds your back and everything. So let's start with lift up the knees like this. Palms behind the head. And so what we'll do, inhale, pull the tummy in and lift up the head. And back on the floor. Again, inhale, pull lift and back and a couple of more times so I just say inhale pull and lift and back inhale pull lift and back all right now put the feet back on the floor and again inhale now lift up the head and back. Inhale, lift and back a couple of more times again. Inhale, pull the tummy and lift and back and once more. Inhale, pull, lift, hold and back. All right, let's do yoga bicycle. So lift up the knees and we'll move the left elbow, right knee and vice versa. So left and right and left and right, left, right. Okay, five more sets. One and two and three, four and five. Whew, all right, grab the knees to the chest, rock side to side. And put the left leg on the floor, we do a little hip stretch. Right one over left knee, grab behind the left thigh, and pull the leg. We can straighten the leg, bend the leg, whatever works today. All right, left leg on the floor, right one on the floor, left over right knee, grab behind the right thigh, and a good 20 seconds here too. Again, play with it, straighten or bend. So again, the stretch pain is a dull pain. It uh, can be a little uncomfortable, but it's not unbearable. If you have any sharp or really bad pain doing yoga, then just don't do it. It's not right. A little sharp stretching pain, it's, it can be annoying, I know, but it's not unbearable. So right leg back on the floor, left one on the floor. Left just grab the knees to the chest, rock side to side, and turn to the right for the final traditional stretches. Oh, again, we did a little more than normal. So, let's start with the <clears throat> feet together for butterfly and butterfly.
hand straight on the left leg and the right one is against the left thigh. Arms up and fold over. And switch, arms up, pull it over, and up, both legs are in the front, right one outside of the left knee, we can bend the left leg but we don't have to. Right arm is behind, left one pushing the knee away for the twist. The whole upper body moves, not just the head. And back to the center. Switch legs. Left arm is behind, right one pushing the left knee for the final twist here. And turn back, both legs are in the front. Arms out, slowly lie back down. And let's do one spine stretch, we need to do that. Arms either way, left leg on the floor, right one over left knee, both are bent. Knees go to the left, look over the right shoulder, do it slowly, this is the deepest stretch. And back to the center, uncross the legs and move the knees to the right, look over the left shoulder, do it slowly so you can adjust. And uncross the legs, hop them to the chest, rock side to side. Give yourself a big hug for taking this time just for yourself. So straighten the right leg and the left leg. <clears throat> Palms up, take a deep breath. And as we exhale, release the tensions from the body. Sink into Shavasana. Oh, and while you are de doing Shavasana, I almost stayed here. Um, I say goodbye. Today is already Friday. Yay. Thank God it's Friday, September 10. And uh, we had a few nice warm days, close to 90s uh, this week. Some of them even 90, 94 in the beginning of the week. But now it's a little cooler, very nice, blue sky. And we had a little bit of, a few drops of rain yesterday as uh, I drove at the coast. It was raining in the morning. So anyway, enjoy the weekend. It's going to be beautiful around here. Um, and see you back on Monday, 8.30 as usual. And my Wednesday practice, probably next month I'll, I'll get back. I, I don't want to do the club anymore in the mornings. So uh, namaste. See you back on um, Monday, 8.30.